on now. I think I better step in before there's some bloodshed. Welcome. Today I thought I'd take you back a few years. I built this castle kit for my son back in 2006. So this is by no means a new project build today. I've been woodworking for about 20 years now, but I've only been doing videos for about one year. So I thought, I don't know, maybe once or twice a year I might take you back and show you an older project that I'd built. I can't give you a build video because clearly it's already built. But I can walk you through the design process, tell you about how I put it together, and hopefully you'll still find it interesting. What I have here are a bunch of pieces that make up a kit. I was thinking about construction toys like Lego when I designed this. The idea was that to build a bunch of individual pieces that your child can then use as building blocks to build whatever kind of castle that their imagine lets them. Also, as a builder, you can build as many or as few of these pieces as you want, and then you can build more pieces over time so the, so the set can grow. You know, if, you're, if your kid really likes it, then you want to make some more pieces, or you might want to design some new pieces. I have here three basic components in this kit. First, I have a wall segment. Castle's got to have walls. And second, I have a tower unit, and I'll get more into those later. And finally, I have here the gate, which is the largest and the most complex. And I'm going to take a look at each of these in turn. Okay, first the wall. Well, actually, first let's talk about what it's made out of. I built everything out of 9mm Baltic birch plywood, which is roughly 3 8 of an inch thick. I knew that this project is going to have a lot of exposed edges, and Baltic birch, because it has no voids, the edges actually can look pretty nice when it's finished. Cheap plywood is all, can often look awful when they have exposed edges. For a finish, I used tried and true original wood finish, which is just a mixture of boiled linseed oil and beeswax. It gives a slight amber color to it, and I really wanted a natural finish, and so that's what I like. You could paint this gray, black, you know, any color you want, obviously. Baltic birch takes paint awesome. So the notches in the tops of the walls, and the tops of the towers, and the tops of the gate, these are called crenellations, and there's a real easy way to do this. Basically, you take your piece of Baltic birch, and you turn it upside down, and in fact, you take several pieces, and you stack them up together, so I have like five, six pieces stacked up together, and then you just run it over a dado blade on the table saw. And you make one notch, move it over, make another notch, it doesn't take much time at all. So along the top of the wall, and in, actually along the top of a lot of the pieces, I have this little decorative groove. This is simply... You get this by just running over the table saw with the blade, you know, maybe a 30 second raised and you just run it along both sides and you get this nice little, it makes this nice little decorative line. So each wall paste, I made them 9 inches long, you can make them longer or shorter, they're about 5 inches tall. They fit into a little dado here at the end of the piece and it's just held in with glue, not even nails. And the one final thing is, is at the end of each wall, I have everything cut back at a sharp angle. And that's so that you can bring pieces close together like that. So next, the towers. I've got several different sizes of towers. They're sized so that they stack nicely, which gets lots of options for castle building. But another nice feature is that they nest inside each other. So when you store it away, it all just packs away like that. I put doors on two sides of the towers, figuring that towers basically go into the corner. You know, you could put doors so they go through, but then you'll have an extra doorway in the back of your castle. Finally, the gate. This is basically two towers with a wall in between them. The design is very much sized so that it looks just like all the other pieces. It's got the same shadow lines with just this here. There's two to set it off a little bit. If you look at the underside, you can see how there's a the tower is open on the inside and then the gate, the front wall of the gate is just fitted in. And of course there's a platform up here so that you can do things like pour boiling oil on the invading hordes. These are Playmobil figurines. They're usually about three inches tall. I bought a few assorted small kits and built the castle pieces to work with them. All that really means is that they'll fit through the doorway and they can stand up here. So this is what I've got in my kit. I built one gate. I built two, four, six, Eight towers, mostly in sets. I bought one little one and one tall little one, and I built six wall segments that are all the same. 
You could, of course, come up with something else to expand on this. You could make a chapel, you could make a, a wishing well, you could make a stable, all sorts of pieces once you start building that you can come up with. So that's about it for this one. I'd like to thank you for coming by and watching. I hope you found it interesting. You can see various still photos of the castle on my website. If you're interested in building one of these for yourself, I've put together a set of detailed plans that you can purchase that give you all the details and the dimensions and they walk you through the construction steps of how to build these yourself. It's only a model. Shh.